Hi everyone. Whenever frameworks are uh, releasing their latest version, they'll definitely add some new features as well as some changes. Similarly, Laravel 11 also introducing some new features and some changes that we'll discuss in this part. But the point is, these features are very important for interviews. Why? Sometime interviewer ask the questions related to the latest version. Maybe they can ask some questions or maybe directly some features. Reason being, they want to check like how much you are updated with your uh, technology. Alright, so these are the old features and changes that we'll discuss in this part and for each of the features and changes I created a separate slide also so that we can discuss them in detail and some of the features need some practical example. So for now I added the code or screenshot of the code so that we can um, just get some details there but uh, I will create a separate parts for these features which need the practical example code and everything so that uh, we can understand in the understand in the details if i just add everything in this part this part will be very long all right so here we will understand everything in detail with theory and some screenshot and all practical example we will uh, uh, see in the upcoming parts and this is the laravel 11 tutorials playlist that will definitely help you out for laravel job project and interviews you can access this playlist from description box of this part so first let's discuss the uh, project structure so here you can see that uh, this is the project structure for laravel 10 and this is the project structure for laravel 11 i you can see that the version is mentioned there so laravel 11 project structure is little bit simpler and lightweight as compared to the laravel 10 so let me explain you how this is so in this laravel 10 if you will open the app uh, directory then you will find some folders console and exceptions which is not present in the laravel 11 here you can see that we have their http model provider and view but there you can see that no console and exception similarly if you'll go a little bit down you will see in the config folder we have approximately 15 16 file but if you'll check this configuration folder inside the laravel 11 you will see there is only 10 files and about to this if you will go for uh, you can say that routers right you will find the four files api and uh, you can say that console channel and web but if you will check the same folder routes inside the 11 you will find only two files web and console api and channels are missing from there so there are some other files and folders also which is missing in the laravel 11 so why they are missing actually they are missing intentionally because these features are not uh, you can say that used very frequently so what they did they remove these features but if you want to add these features we can add i'll give you one example like how we can add them right so due to the uh you can see that less file size and folder uh number of folders and files so the laravel 11 is little bit lighter and little bit faster also after that so how we can add the missing features or you can say that the features which is which are hidden how we can add them so i'll give you one example so in laravel 11 by default you cannot you make apis directly right because uh, they need some files and all which is not provided by default so let me just close this uh, 10 version so that we can check everything there right so so let's say if you want to add the api feature you have to run one command which is php artisan install install api and it will add some files and folders also there let me show you right so with that way you can add the features which is not uh, present in the uh, this file structure so let me run this command php artisan install and then api and whenever you will run you will see some files and folders are getting created here you can see that so sale centum thinker all of these are and if you want to check the actual changes here you can see that so app dot a php is newly created file there is some changes in package.json uh, in the app.php centum this is a new file created and uh, there is a uh, one migration is also created right so with that way you can add new features if they are not present in the 11 and they are present in the 10 right so yeah that's all so let me just close this uh, okay so the next thing is by default previously in laravel 10 and the previous version so the by default database is mysql but now that by default database is uh, sqlite so let me show you if you will open uh, 
uh, your env dot env file you will find there now the by default data is sqlite right but in the previous version this is the uh, mysql as i told you so this is the one i know that maybe you can say that this is not a major thing but yeah uh, this is a minor but still i have to tell you so if you want to connect the mysql then you can directly change it then that's that will work, work fine after that laravel reverb see this is not the uh, internal feature of laravel project this is the package which created by the laravel team if you want to use it then you have to uh, install it or you can say that uh, you have to run one command and uh, then it will be added to your project so the uh, basic work of this reverb is uh, so that you can uh, implement some real time communication system maybe some chat system or chatbot or something like this that can be developed easily with the help of reverb and definitely will create a separate part for this one uh, the new thing is dumbable new feature see the dumbable feature is available previously also but there is some functionality which is introduced now so i am very sure if you are using laravel uh, since some of the few few years back then uh, you maybe know about dd function and dumb function so these are basically used for debugging so that you can check where the error coming and how we can fix it and for that right so by previously what you can do there you can see that this dumb function or maybe you there you can use dd function okay uh, fine so dd means dumb and die so the purpose of this function is as i told you to debug uh, the code and errors so previously you cannot use it between the function so now so let's say you have a time variable and you are getting day minutes and second from this carbon now you can use dumb function between this right now you can see that this with the arrows function previously you cannot use this dumb between the this function chaining you have to use at the last only right so, all right okay so definitely we'll create one uh, part for this also this is very interesting feature actually now the health check so uh, now if you want like uh, let me just see that uh, actually this is openly open previously so if i just use their test right you can see that this is working fine yeah so but if you want to check if uh, there is some issue with your application or this is down then you can just check uh, your application name or your host name and then just simply put there up and it will tell that how much second it will uh, render for one request the 10 millisecond after that uh, it will also tell like your application is up or down or something so this is very very helpful for check the simple uh, health checkup right yeah after that there is a one function so sometimes what happen we are calling one function again and again and maybe uh, we are putting some very uh, expensive functionality in this function expensive means time taking functionality maybe you created a very big logic and it will take three to four seconds to execute this so if we are calling this function again and again so our application can be slower so what in this case you can do you can just use this once function what it will do it will just make this function inside the cache and the result will be written from the cache and that will be a little bit faster so here you can see that so whenever we are calling this random function first so it will get the result from this function and second time the result from the cache and third time result again from the cache but these thing, these things should be only used whenever our function is written only the static output output should be same every time otherwise if you will just cache the static output and output is changing every time then it time that time it will not work properly so there are some new artisan commands also which is introduced in laravel 11 like now you can create class enum interface trail with the class so let me show you one example so let's say you want to create one class right and uh, let me open terminal and uh, you can simply let me just clear this thing you can php artisan make class and your class name so let's say my class name is dummy and now you can see that the new uh, class is created inside the app folder here you can see that right so this is a simple class is created and if you just not not put the class name it will ask class name right like this so you can put there let's say student or something again it will create the class 
similarly you can create the all of this enum interface and trait functionality so i'll not tell much about these three things and even class also because these are the basic uh you can say it's feature or functionality of the php so you can just check out all of these things in the php like what is interface what is enum and traits and all all right after that so laravel 11 introduced some uh, you can say that new schema operations or so that you can check how many tables views columns these things you have in the database so uh, so let's say you are connecting with some specific database and if you import the schema and just run this command it will return the name of all tables all views and if you want to get to know the column name in the table then that time you can use this method you can get the index by this the table name and foreign key by the table name also yeah so there is a one more thing which is per second rate limit so so, so sometimes what actually happen uh, you want to limit like uh, in one second or in one minute how many requests can user make right so in this this case you can use this limit so maybe uh, you want like user can be uh, send a 10 request in a one second so you can just put there 10 how we can implement it actual i'll just make a separate part for this but why we'll use this so sometime hackers or maybe sometime uh, uh, just uh, some uh, normal developers actually just send a request in a loop so that your system can be slower or something so that this functionality will help so if you will just making the loop over the request and in one second maybe you are you can send one lakh request uh to the server and your server can be down or little bit slower so that time this will work all right so that's all for this part and this is my paytm number for donation i'll request you to please let me know which feature you like in this uh, laravel 11 or which feature you don't like and please like this video share your feedback in comment section and uh, please subscribe my channel thank you guys thank you so much